Hello everybody, uh, thanks for tuning into this video. This actually is going to be a uh, help video on fixing the scroll wheel support for the vertical speed autopilot for certain Carinado aircraft. Uh, it was a trouble for me for quite some time and uh, I found a fix online so I made a video of how to do what was described in text so that's less intimidating for people that find it. So. Anyway, uh, so just to illustrate the typical problem that we've seen, or some people have seen, not everybody has done this, and let me start off first of all saying that this is not officially endorsed as far as I know by Carinado, so just make sure that you uh, back up the file that you're going to edit in this from this video, that way you have a spare in case if something goes wrong and you make a mistake. You don't want to break the airplane and then Carinado says, I'm sorry, I don't know what you did to it. Uh, I don't know how they would handle it, so we just don't want to take that chance. Anyway, so just to illustrate the typical problem, we know that uh, when we go on certain mouse buttons, we can scroll our mouse wheel, and we see that icon, and it works just fine. And even on the autopilot here, the altitude select works fine. You can just do one click at a time, or program it however you want, um, and then you can see basically that the altitude change comes just a few at a time. However, then, let's say we wanted to go to, you know, 4,500 feet, let's say. Then you wanted to set up, like, okay, at what rate do I want to climb to 4,500 feet? So let's say you want to, instead of 900, you want to do 700. So here you are, you're scrolling, and it's like, oh, man, it keeps fluttering, and it doesn't let me change, and then when I do, it goes too far. Just a major pain. Now, there are ways you can just set... I heard some people just reset the sensitivity of their mouse, but it would be nice to have it so that we didn't see this strange phenomenon that does this. So what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and quit out of X-Plane. And uh, what we have is, hold on, actually, let's do this. We're going to go to, uh, we want to go here. And <coughs> when I found uh, what I did was I did a search. So this video is basically describing the text of this post on explain.org. Scroll wheel fix for some V3 airplanes. So if you need to, you can always go ahead and look at that. But basically what they told us to do or suggested that they fixed it was by changing uh, some stuff in a SASL file. Okay, see the SASL file? Uh, they, cha they changed a multiplier that was set at 10 and they changed it to 100 and it was in the custom avionics folder and it was the scroll lua file and instead of using the asterisk 10 we're going to add a zero to it asterisk 100 and over here in the text it actually is missing the asterisk but it, it, it does have one so uh let's go ahead and then as a result we'll come over here and you go to wherever you have your airplanes. I have mine in a custom aircraft folder. Whoops, too far. And I'm going to go to general aviation. Oops, again, I screwed up here. So we have aircraft, custom aircraft, uh, general aviation. And the way this works, I'll tell you, it, this will be the same fix on both the Windows and the Mac OS. I'm going to go to our. Um, Airplane that we're using. Actually, did I quit out of X plane? I don't think I did. Let's go ahead and do that first. So quit out of X plane. And you would do this for each airplane that's affected. Okay. Oops. Of course, we have our usual exit crash that happens on this machine. Okay. Anyway, so now we're. That has nothing to do with the file or anything like that. So we're looking at our Carinata aircraft that we're fixing. I'm doing the Bonanza F 33A. We're going to go to Custom Amionics, and then we're going to go down to uh, scroll.lua, and we have to pick an application that will open it. So we're going to use, on the Mac side, we're going to use the Text Edit app. Now, for you Mac users, if you never opened a Lua file, um, it might default to Terminal. Ignore that. Just go to Choose Application. You know, you go to Other. Okay, and then you choose text edit. Okay, so if you like, you know, you can see here what other, and then you just scroll down. Uh, if it doesn't show up, if it's gray, you just get rid of the 
recommended application to all applications. I think it shows up for us though as as available by recommended uh, recommended applications. But anyway, I'm gonna scroll on down just to show you how you do it the way you might first see it. Text edit, double click it, and then we get this really crazy thing. Now what you do on the Windows side? Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Windows side, I use Notepad. So I took Notepad and um, you know, I opened it with Notepad, no problem. Okay, you, don't have to take, you don't have to exchange an extension or anything. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, just go all the way down. All right, once there, I, you know, I just did this because I was like, okay, where is this damn thing? So I went all the way to the bottom. And then I actually ended up, from there, I just worked my way up a little bit. So you come up a little bit and you'll see things like get scroll math.min, get scroll times 10. We don't want to do that one. They did say change the 10 to 100, but they said specifically for the VSI. Okay, so let's go back up a little. I don't think this is the one, right? No. I'm gonna keep going up, keep going up. Keep going past here. It's kind of, to me, this scares the hell out of me when I see this kind of code. I don't want to touch anything. All right, and I get to, what are, what are we in? And the way my window scales, it's about like a, a, a quarter of the way, not even up from the bottom. Depends on how big the window is, of course. But anyway, we see here it says get altitude dial FT, and then there's another one, get VVI dial FPM for feet per minute. That's the one you want. A VVI, a vertical velocity indicator, is the same as a vertical speed indicator, essentially, for what we're talking about here. So it tells you right here, set vertical velocity indicator dial feet per minute Math at max, uh, I guess the maximum descent rate you can do is 4,500 feet per minute. The maximum climb rate, 4,500 feet per minute. Maybe that's what that means. It doesn't really matter. What we really want is this key number here, the number 10, times 10, the asterisk 10. And they said, right, they did say over here, we have to change the asterisk 10 to 100. We want to keep the asterisk in there though. So what we do is we just come back up here and we're going to add a zero to that. There you go. And then once we're done there, we're going to save it. So let's go ahead and save that. You do that the same thing in Notepad. And then X out of it. Make sure you quit it. Uh, you don't have to quit your editor, but I am. And then we're going to relaunch the application. So we'll be back in a second and let's see how this works. Okay, so we're back, and let's see how we did. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at our autopilot. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit just so we can see what's going on nice and easy. <clears throat> and like we said before, the um, regular altitude select was working fine. There was no fluttering uh, in the scroll wheel. It just smoothly changed you know, between uh, increments of 100. So now we're going to do is let's say we wanted to go to you know 5,000 feet. We're going to now select our just climb rate we wanted, and let's go ahead and set that up. And look at that, nice and easy. No more fluttering with the tens in there or anything like that. So no problems whatsoever. Real uh, nice and smooth. So it wasn't that hard to do. Um, again, make sure you back up that file, and uh, that way if you do make a mistake and you edit the wrong thing and you can't find what you did you can swap back in the uh, you know the original and then you know, make another copy of it and try again. Um, and then let me just address one other thing too that I see sometimes people have a problem with. And that is if you decide to switch to non mouse uh, support, or rather not non-scroll support, you deselect that, it does let you, you know, pick with the you know arrow keys left and right. However, this autopilot is a very strange thing in that you know, it, it acts a little bit weird. It'll end up, you know, with like tens in there. And uh, I guess if we drag it, you know, even here, it just, it's, sometimes you'll nail it. Then other times you end up with a, a strange number, right? So if that happens and then you're like, oh, I want to get out of this, and then you end up back on scroll wheel support, okay? Then you'll notice that, oh, wait a minute, I can't seem to get rid of that 70. 
Okay, you could go and get rid of mass scroll and then try and fix it. But the other thing you can do is basically just scroll all the way down and zero it out. And then once it's zeroed, there you go. And now you're back to normal. So, no problems there, but that's basically how you do it. Just zero it out by hitting the bottom and then come back up and you got it back to normal. Anyway, hope this video helped you out and uh, hope it helps fix your effective care not airplane. Uh, if there are any other fixes, please feel free to post those in the comments below. And uh, have a great flight.